Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Balik lagi kita di channel Sumber Dakwah Official Nah Kali ini kita akan melihat Ini Pokoknya kaum intelektual dari luar negeri Tentunya profesor-profesor maupun dokter-dokter Dari luar negeri Pokoknya mereka membicarakan dan memuji Selama 10 tahun kinerja Pak Jokowi Ya nah, bayangkan nih Masa iya Profesor luar negeri saja memuji prestasi Pak Jokowi sedangkan profesor di dalam negeri malah mencaci <laughs> mencaci memuji ayolah langsung kita benar benarnya tanpa lama-lama bismillahirrahmanirrahim let's go well good morning everyone Good morning, everyone. It is so, so wonderful to see you all here on this very bright but chilly uh, Canberra morning. Um, I'm also conscious that uh, it is very early, 6 a.m. in Indonesia, where we have many people joining us online. Um, so a particular thank you to, to all of them. Um, My name is Helen Sullivan and I have the very, very great privilege of being Dean of the ANU College of Asia and the Pacific. Uh, as we begin, I would like to acknowledge and celebrate and pay my respects to the traditional owners of the lands on which we meet, the lands of the Ngunnawal and Ngambri people of the Canberra region, and to all First Nations Australians on whose traditional lands we meet and work. I would also uh, like to acknowledge and pay my respects to any First Nations Australians who are joining us today. It's my very great pleasure, um, and I've had this pleasure a number of times before, uh, but it never um, ceases to be a, a really great occasion to welcome you to this conference, whether you're here in person, whether you're joining anywhere uh, around the world online. As you know, the Indonesia update, and I'm looking around and seeing many, many friends, familiar faces, so you will know many of, much of this better than I do. The Indonesia update has a very long and successful history and is very well positioned within our college. CAP, as all of you will know it, I've no doubt, or if you don't know it now, you will by the end of the conference. Um, we have... 300 academics in four research schools and we represent the largest concentration of Asia Pacific experts in the English speaking world. Now just let that sink in. You know, what a great privilege it is to be in this community of experts who have dedicated their lives uh, to the study of a different aspect of Asia and the Pacific regions. Um, And we also like to claim, and I don't want anybody doing any fact-checking on this, um, because we know that that's in vogue, uh, that we also host the largest concentration of Indonesianists in the world. Um, and I have to say, from my experience of being at this in university and the regular visits um, I make to Indonesia with my colleagues, um, it really does feel uh, like uh, we are part of a very special community, and indeed, um, we are... Um, consider ourselves to, to fly the flag for Indonesia studies and um, all things Indonesian in the world um, from an Australian vantage point. From humble beginnings, it says here, I can't believe anything that the Indonesia Project team have ever done has been uh, with humble beginnings, uh, but the update has been designed to provide comprehensive overviews of developments in Indonesia and to present a wide-ranging discussion on a particular theme each year. Uh, so the conference will begin as it always does, and I'm very excited to be able to stay for this, with updates surveying the political and economic developments in Indonesia over the past 12 months. Then over the course of the next two days, the conference will further examine the question of how Indonesia has changed over the past decade under President Jokowi's leadership. This annual conference is now the largest conference on Indonesia outside of Indonesia. And as I say, it is a very great privilege to be able to host this concentration of scholars, diplomats, government officials, teachers, members of business and non-government organisations, students and of course our alumni. And I just want to say a few words about our students and our alumni. Um, we can't be the great scholarly engine that we are. Uh, in the Australian National University here in Canberra without 
the extraordinary privilege that we have of teaching students from so many parts of the world. And in particular, given that we're celebrating Indonesia today, the incredible number of students who have come to study with us and the students we have sent to Indonesia in exchange. That kind of relationship, that building of relationships, of connections, of understanding, cannot be underestimated. And it is incredibly important that we continue to do everything that we can to facilitate the ongoing um, flow of students in both directions. Um, and I think any public policymaker who believes that uh, attempt to, to regulate that will be um, positive uh, will be very sorely mistaken. And so we pride ourselves on the very special relationship that we have both with our students at all levels, uh, but also with our alumni. And it may surprise you, and this did indeed surprise me, that at the PhD level, we have more students uh, come, more Indonesian students come to Australia to study than from any other country. Uh, we can proudly say that hundreds of Indonesian citizens have studied and graduated from this university and indeed from this college. And there are many current and former candidates online and indeed in the room today. And just over a decade ago, four Indonesian cabinet ministers held PhDs from the ANU. We are incredibly proud you can draw your own judgment about whether that made any difference or not and what kind of difference, but uh, <laughs> we did our bit. Um, we are very proud of our contribution to, to Indonesia's intellectual and policy development and we want to continue that effort and we will always aspire to do more. We have an exceptionally strong reputation for being a global centre of excellence in the study of Asia and the Pacific and we take pride in our role here in the college to lead the university to meet our responsibilities to the Asia-Pacific region by dedicating ourselves to the development of deep knowledge, strong relationships and, and enduring um, knowledge creation and transmission. We're a unique community of multidisciplinary scholars and one of the things you will see in this conference is just the incredible range of, of disciplines, um, field expertise that, that we have both in this university but also as part of our wider community. Academics, professionals, technical experts, all who are focused on research, education and engagement in this most incredible and dynamic region in the world. We know we absolutely know that Indonesia literacy, as you might call it, in Australia is critical to the health of our bilateral relationship and we are committed to supporting and nurturing scholarship and teaching on Indonesia here at the ANU. Our ongoing commitment is demonstrated through support for initiatives such as the Indonesia Project, the Indonesia Institute and through our support for this extraordinary conference. As successive Prime Ministers have stated and is outlined in our foreign policy, no country is more important to Australia than Indonesia. Indeed, Gareth Evans, our former ANU Chancellor and Foreign Minister, once noted, we are neighbours forever. And that is a sentiment that's been echoed by our current Chancellor, Honourable Julie Bishop, um, and also is something that uh, resonates from uh, the public statements of our current Foreign Minister, the Honourable Penny Wong. And this concept is one that we should absolutely embrace. It's very easy, particularly as scholars and um, diplomats, professional experts, it's often very easy to see the differences between countries, between communities, between peoples. But we have so much in common politically, strategically, economically and environmentally, much more often than people realise. And I think we're going to see that demonstrated very clearly over the coming days. This is also an opportune moment to remember the remarkable contribution of the late Heinz Arndt 
a professor at this university for 50 years, and who established the Bulletin of Indonesian Economic Studies. And I can see some people who are very involved in that uh, bulletin here today. The major academic journal on the Indonesian economy, and now in its 60th year of continuous publication. That is quite an extraordinary achievement. Does that make it as old as the Indonesia project? Just about. Um, I want to congratulate a couple of people before I finish and before I get to do the only thing I'm really here for. I mean, I, you know, it's great to see you all here, but I'm much more interested in something else I'm going to be doing shortly. Um, I want to congratulate a few people. Eve Warburton uh, for convening her second Indonesia Update conference. Sana Jaffrey for convening her first. Um, I'll think of something to congratulate you for, Ed, but there's nothing, there's nothing written here. <laughs> um, but in all seriously, I really appreciate the extraordinary amount of work that goes um, on to make sure that this event happens every year without fail, um, always with something new to say, always with some surprises in store. Um, and at this point, I want to make a, I can't see her, but a special mention of Catherine and her team for all the extraordinary work that they do. Um, I would like to make a particular mention of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade for their continued support both of the work that we do um, on Indonesia, in Indonesia, with Indonesians, um, and uh, their particular support of this conference. Um, now, as I said, the, the reason I'm here, uh, before I hand over to, to Ed, who is wearing the most wonderful suit, it has to be said, uh, who's going to chair our first session, which will be fantastic. Uh, tradition calls me to, to bang the magnificent gong that you can't see, but I can. Um, and, uh, but apparently I have to wait for somebody to bring it because it's very precious and I will break it. Um, and once I bang the gong, uh, this conference is officially open. <laughs> Stand back, Ed. <laughs> okay. Do I do it once? As many times as you can. As many times as I want. Okay. <laughs> Nah, pokoknya apa kabarnya untuk para profesor Indonesia yang suka menghujat, mencaci, memfitnah Pak Jokowi? Seharusnya kita malu oleh para profesor luar negeri. Mereka malah menyanjung, memuji Presiden Jokowi semasa kepemimpinan beliau dianggap berhasil. Saya kita kalah dengan adabnya orang yang non Muslim, sedangkan kita negara mayoritas Muslim. <laughs> Jadi miris-miris banget. Seharusnya kita tahu cara berterima kasih. Seharusnya kita juga tahu cara menghargai seorang pemimpin, bukan malah menjadi penebar fitnah atau penebar hoax, ikut-ikutan termakan hoax. Dah, saya akhiri tetap jaga persatuan Indonesia, jangan mau kita terpecah belah, jangan mau kita ada adu domba, stop hoax, stop ujaran kebencian. Wabillah, tapi kuliah dewa, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.